Hare Krishna, Jai Jagannath. Today is Parshva Ekadasi or Vamana Ekadasi. Or this Ekadasi is also called Parivartini Ekadasi. Today Lord Vamana appeared. Today and tomorrow also. Vamana Dwadasi and Vamana Ekadasi. Both the days Lord Vamana's pastime happened. That's why today we'll discuss Vamana pastime. Vamana incarnation pastime. Yudhishthira Maharaj asked Lord Krishna about the glories of today's Ekadasi. Vamana Ekadasi. Then Lord Krishna told whoever follows this Ekadasi will get liberated in this lifetime. And just by hearing the glories of this Akadasi, all the uh, sins will go away. And Lord Krishna told about Vamana Avatar. So we'll discuss that. So one time demigods and in Tretaiga, this happened in Tretaiga, demigods and uh, demons, they fought with each other. And Bali Maharaj, one demon, he, he died. But Shuk Shukracharya, who is the guru of all these uh, demons, he gave life to... Bali Maharaj back with the help of Mrata Sanjeevani. Then Bali Maharaj, he got his life back and he was very grateful to Sukracharya and he he became disciple of Sukracharya and he he served Sukracharya so nicely. Then Sukracharya was very pleased with Bali Maharaj and Sukracharya gave the benediction to Bali Maharaj that he can conquer the demigods. Then Indra went to Indraloka to conquer the demigods. He was he was going to Indraloka, but before he he went, he did a yajna with the help of some brahmanas. That yajna is called Vishwati, Vishwajit Yajna. This yajna they performed to conquer demigods. From that Vishw, Vishwajit Yajna, one golden chariot, that fire, when they offered ghee in that yajna fire, these brahmanas, uh, from that fire, a wonderful golden chariot came, a very effulgent golden chariot, and uh, four yellow color horses were there, and one wonderful, wonderful bow and arrows, Akshay Thuni Ramu, means uh, that um, in, inexhaustible, means unlimited arrows just go on coming from that. So, Bali Maharaj. Uh, took that and also one uh, golden shield. So Bali Maharaj wore that golden shield and he took that arrows, bow, he climbed the chariot. Then Prahlad Maharaj came and he, he gave a garland to Bali Maharaj that never fades. Sukracharya gave a conch. Then Bali Maharaj offered pranam to all the Brahmanas and Prahlad Maharaj also and they went to and with all other daityas. And of course, Bali Maharaj was wearing wonderful garland, golden shield, crown on his head, and diamond earrings. He looks like very effulgent, worshipable fire. He went with all these uh, dhanamas or demons to heaven. He was going to conquer the heaven. Descriptions of heaven is also there in uh, Bhagavatam, that is heaven. In this heaven, many wonderful gardens with so many flowers and many birds, chirping birds, peacocks and many beautiful women always singing, flying in the airplanes and there is an airport also with one ten crore aeroplanes that is called Pushpaka Vimana and also many nice um, uh, sitting places and many many Gandharvas, uh, many demigods are very beautifully singing especially women their voice was so sweet and in this way this description is also given about heaven and Bali Maharaj he was going to attack then Indra come to know Indra went to Brihaspati and he surrendered to Brihaspati and Brihaspati said you can't do anything to this Bali Maharaj this Bali Maharaj is very powerful now because he served his Guru his Guru Maharaj is Sukracharya and he, because he got blessings of his Guru Maharaj nobody can conquer it better you run away from this place Brihaspati told a Guru of uh, all these demigods and all the demigods they disguised in different forms they were in incognito they they left the tabord then bali maharaj laughed to see indra ran away and bali maharaj did 100 asamed yajnas with the help of brahmanas and he got so much name and fame kashyap muni got aditi and diti his wives so bali maharaj and all the dhanavas all the asuras they are all children of Diti, but Aditi, Aditi's children are Indra, Chandra, Varuna, Vayu, Vishwaksin, all these demigods are children of Aditi. So because these all these demigod children of Aditi were defeated by demons, Aditi was very sad. When Kashyapu Muni inquired the reason for her sadness, she explained that, uh, see my dear husband, all my children are in Agnyatavas, in incognito, in the forest, somewhere, 
in different forms i'm very sad about this do something so that my children will get back their kingdom then kashyapuni said i offer my all respect for obeisances to the illusory energy of uh, lord krishna because of that illusion energy a conditioned souls like you they think that uh, my children my body anyways your desire is that your children should get back their their kingdom okay you should do a, a vrata i will suggest payo vrata i did this when brahma explained me this payo vrata for children i did this payo vrata this is a 12 day vrata you should drink milk and worship pondari kaksha purushottam vishnu you should worship also surya varuna agni and all and guru so the you should chant the mantras and invite the deity you should install vishnu deity the mantras are namastubhyam bhagavate purushaya mahisaye sarvabhuta nivasaya vasudevaya sakshine namashivaya irdraya namashakti daraya cha sarvavidyadipataye bhutanam pataye namaha namo hiranya garbhaya pranaya jagadatmane yogeshwarya shariraya namaste yogahetave namaste adidevaya sakshi bhutayate namaha narayana yarushaye naraya haraye namaha anvavartantayam devaha shrischa tatpada padnayo sprahayantraiva modam bhagavan me prasidatam in this way you should uh, chant these mantras and invite the lord and you should install the deity then with and then architva gandha malyada he should worship the deity with sandal paste and many flower garlands payasa snapaye dvibum with milk you should uh, do perform abhishek ceremony vastra upavita abharana you should decorate with nice clothes and upavita and many many other ornaments padya upasparshane tatah you should worship you should touch the feet of the lord gandha dupa adivihi with sandal paste uh, or incense you should uh, worship arche dwatasakshara vidyaya you should worship the deity with dwatasakshara mantra what is the dwatasakshara mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya srishtam payasa naivedyam shali annam sasarpihi sagudam dwadasakshana mantarah you should cook nice payasa nice uh, sweet rice with sari annam good quality rice sasarpihi with ghee sagudam with um, jaggery jaggery you should you should cook nice uh, payasa and you should offer the deity with dwadasakshana mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya niveditam tad bhaktaya you should um, Uh, offer that prasad to devotees tat bhakta to devotees should give that pious after they eat dadyat bhunji tavasvayam that maha prasad when you offer to lord it is prasad then when you offer to that prasad offer that prasad to brahmanas it is maha prasad that maha prasad you have to take tambulam chani vedayet you should offer the tambula also pan to the betel nut leaves to lord japa dashtotra shatam stuvita stuti bih prabhum you should chant this that mantra one or eight times om namo bhagavate vasudevaya and that chant that chant the mantra for one or eight times then krutva pradakshinam bhumau then you should uh, circumambulate the lord pram praname dhandavan muda with lot of satisfaction and happiness you should offer obeisances brahmana bhojanam brahmacharya you should give brahmana bhojan you should feed nice brahmanas with excellent food feast and brahmacharyam should offer we should do celibacy 12 days vrata sleep on floor for 12 days should follow celibacy three times you should take bath 12 days no prajalpa 12 days no enviousness towards any living entity be a simple devotee be pure at heart and 13th day perform nice abhishek with milk curd honey ghee sugar you should off abhishek the lord you should not be miser that day you should not think that oh why should i spend so much no you should spend as much as you can don't be miser in this way told then satisfy guru nicely with good guru dakshana good gifts and all the brahmanas you should give feed them very nicely not only brahmana you should feed devotees non devotees chandalas everybody you should feed feed them with nice wonderful feast and give them nice dakshinas gifts money everything singing dancing krishna kirtan music should be go on reading bhagavatam also in this way you should perform paya vrata this is also called sarva yajna vrata because by performing this paya vrata you will get the result of performing all the yajnas kashyap muni told that he performed this paya vrata so nicely she was sitting in meditation on lord vishnu and suddenly she found that effulgent transcendental divine supreme lord vishnu she found in front of her and she was so ecstatic to see that form of lord vishnu with lot of eyes white petal lotus eyes wonderful hair and golden helmet 
golden transcendental crown with equal with the effulgence of sun and four hands shank chakra gada padma and with bracelets armlets and a wonderful yellow dhoti with bluish body on his chest was uh, kaustaba jam and a, and a colorful garland hanging up to the feet and lord was smiling reddish lips so sweet smile with white petal lotus eyes and wonderful tilak on his forehead his form was so beautiful so effulgent and anklets and bracelets and uh, and so wonderful bell golden belt and um, many flowered garlands of and uh, many ornaments glittering ornaments and bluish body was blue sapphire so in this this form atidi found in front of and then tam netra gocharam viksha sahasotaya sadanam nanam bhuvikayena dandavat priti vivala tam neha gocharam just by seeing the wonderful form sahasota she she stood up and sadaram she worshiped nanam bhuvikayena she offered her pranams prema preeti vivala in that love loving affection baddan jalihi ananda jala kulai kshana seeing that form she offered pranams and then from her eyes tears and pulaka romanch tad darshana ati utsavam and that romanch that um, he had standing on end and she was so she was so happy and ecstatic and trembling ikshati sa pibatva chakshusha just seeing that form she was drinking the beautiful form uh, bringing that few beautiful sudamrata the uh, nectarious form she was drinking with her eyes and she was glorifying ramapatim yagyapatim jagatpatim and it is where she was glorifying then lord spoke i know your desire aditi you are very sad about your demi got children but they lost their kingdom but don't worry because bali maharaj satisfied his guru brahmanas he is flourishing but don't worry because you performed payavrata with so much love for me i will definitely help you then lord told because of your purity and the austerities of your husband kashyapa i will become your son just go and see my beautiful form in your husband's heart and one day i will appear in front of you as your son then aditi was so happy and she went to kashyapa and she offered her obeisances and she found lord vishnu in in her husband's heart and that uh, form transferred to aditi's heart and one day he appeared when he appeared lord brahma was glorifying jaya burugaya bhagavannu rukrama namo stute namo brahmanya devaya trigunaya namo namaha Lord appeared and Kashyapa Aditi were so happy. Demi got showering flowers. Lord was so beautiful, young boy, but with four hands shank cons this club and lotus. Then he became like a small boy, small dwarf boy, beautiful boy, four year, five year old, small sweet boy with golden effulgence. And when he became like a Brahmana boy, all the Brahmanas were very happy to see that Brahmana boy, their community boy. Huh? So then they did that Upanayana samskara, the Brahmana diksha. in that brahmana diksha sun god came and chanted gayatri mantra in that vamana's ear brahaspati gave upavita that brahman thread kashyapa gave kusanadi mans that is called uh, that uh, kusha grass belt budevi gave deer skin moon god gave brahmadanda aditi mother aditi gave underwear kaupinna indra gave umbrella brahma gave kamandalu saptarishis gave kushadarbha Saraswati gave Rudraksha Mala, then Yaksha Raja Kubera gave one bowl for begging. Anapurna is wife of Lord Shiva, who is Ambika, Shiva's wife. She gave the first uh, alms to Lord Vamana, and Vamana was with the Brahma Tejas, and he was so effulgent that effulgent dissipates the darkness in all the directions. And Vamana heard that Bali Maharaj is performing Asumedha Yagna and is giving charity to the Brahmanas. Vamana they wanted to go there, and he was going there. It was then Bali Maharaj was performing on the banks of River Narmada. Vamana was going there, and on the banks of Narmada, all these Brahmanas could see sun was rising. Actually, the sun was set. They were thinking again, how the sun is rising? Because this is Vamana Dev. Vamana Dev was so effulgent like sun. When he was walking, they could see that effulgence, and they thought that sun is rising again. And they stood up all the. Then they are discussing among themselves: Is this sun god directly coming to this yajna? Is this some Brahmana saying, "Is this Sanat Kumara or is this fire god coming?" They are arguing among themselves, and this uh, Vamana came, and all these. Brahmana stood up and offered obeisances and gave him a seat. Uh, Bali Maharaj gave him a seat and washed the feet of Vamana. 
Then Balimara said, um, Lord Shiva did this and I am following the footsteps of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva took that uh, Ganga, Mother Ganga on his head and the same way wash, after washing Lord's feet, Balimara took that uh, waters on his head. Then, Swagatam te namastubhyam brahman kim karaname Brahmarshinam tapas sakshan manye tvaryava purdharana he is saying, Balimar is saying, Oh, Vaman, a beautiful boy, young boy, Swagatam, I welcome you. Namaste, I offer your obeisances to you. Brahman, Kim, Karavamate, I, what can I do for you? Brahmarshinam, Tapas Saksham, you look like the personified austerity. Adya na Petras Tripta, Adya today, na my Petras Tripta, my forefathers got satisfied today. Adya na Pavitam, Kulam, today my Kulam, my caste is purified. Adya Swistaha Kraturayam, that Yajna I am performing today, I, I got the fruit of the Yajna. Yat Baba Anagatograham, just by your presence, just by your coming here, all these things happening. Then this small, small lotus feet, oh my dear Vaman, uh, my dear boy, these small, small feet are so beautiful. The water washed this small, small, uh, sweet, sweet uh, lotus feet can purify this whole universe. In this way, Bali Maharaj, he was glorifying the Lord's Lord. Then Bali Maharaj saying, a small boy, ask, what do you want? You want a cow? You want gold? You want house? You want palatable drink and food? You are a Brahmana, Brahmana, Bojana, Priya. You are, you, are, you like to eat nice food? You want a good wife? I can give you, Brahmana girl. You want villages? You want houses? You want elephants? You want chariots? Whatever you want, you can ask. Then Vamana was very happy to hear Balimara's words and Vamana glorified Balimara. Indeed, you are the grandson of Prahalad who is like moon in the sky. And you know your great-grandfather Hiranyakarshipu? He was really great. Even Lord Vishnu was afraid of him in the Vamana saying. One day, uh, Lord killed, Lord Vishnu killed Hiranyaksha. Then Hiranyakarshipu was very angry about Lord Vishnu because he, Lord Vishnu killed his brother so he wanted to kill Vishnu and he was searching for Vishnu in the whole universe and he went to Vaikuntha to find Vishnu and Vishnu was afraid and he was hiding in uh, Hiranyakarshipu's heart because Vishnu knows that Hiranyakarshipu will only search outside but will never search inside. Then uh, Vishnu was hiding in Hiranyakarshipu's heart then, then Hiranyakarshipu went to Vaikuntha he was not finding Vishnu and he thought oh, though this Vishnu is afraid of me. <laughs> then he ran away somewhere. I, mean, I think he is dead. He is thinking like that. That much great your great grandfather. I want just three steps of land. That's it. Then uh, Bali is told, what? You want only three steps of land? You are a small boy. You don't have much experience. I can give you this whole world. Then Vamana said, if I if I am not satisfied with the three steps of land, then I cannot be satisfied with the whole world. I am a Brahmana. I should be satisfied with whatever I have. Yeah, so I am completely sense controlled. So my, I want only three steps of land. I will be happy. Then Barimala said, "Okay, whatever you wish." Then he wa he was about to do Achaman. Then his guru Sukracharya spoke, "No, no, no, no. Hey, Bali Maharaj, this is Vishnu. He took the form of this Vamana. He is asking you three steps of land, but he will expand and he will occupy the three worlds with one step and outer space in another step and third step. Where will you? Where will he put? Then he will go to hell because you are unable to uh, fulfill your promise." And uh, Sukrasera told, you know, in uh, Bahvracha Sruti, it is said that if you give word to anybody, you should give word with the starting word called Om. If you didn't say Om and you didn't promise, you, you didn't if at finish you know, even this Achaman, so give up. Don't give him anything. Also, Sukrasera told, if you, if you say that, no, I already told, I will give. Okay, just say it is a lie. Because in Shastra, it is said that to satisfy a woman, you can say lie. To perform a marriage ceremony, you can tell lie. For a profession, you can tell lie. Just in fun, you can tell lie. And even you are in uh, danger of your life, you can tell lie. To protect cows and brahmanas, you can tell lie. To protect your best friend from enemy, you can tell lie. So these are the seven places you can speak lie. Then Balimara spoke. Oh Guruji, how could you speak like this? Mother Earth once told that I can bear any kind of weight except a liar. I cannot uh, bear the weight of a liar. In this way, Mother Earth told. And I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of poverty. I'm not, I'm not afraid of uh, washing of misery. I'm not afraid of fall down, but I'm afraid of 
cheating a brahmana you know that the cscb how they got reputation giving charity and if you say that he is vishnu why we are performing this ashwamedha yagna to satisfy vishnu if that vishnu directly come i am very happy to give him donation dakshina because it is directly vishnu we are performing this ashwamedha yagna to satisfy vishnu so directly vishnu came here so what's wrong then in this i told then sukracharya got angry you fool you are not listening to my words i will curse you that you will lose all this property bali maras didn't care vindya bali bali maras wife brought a wa- brought water in golden pot and they washed vamana's feet and vamana started to expand he occupied the whole universe with one step and he occupied the another outer space with another step and where is the, where can he put third step bali maras was confused shocked and then this feet when it reached brahmaloka brahmadeva worshiped that feet vamana's feet also that is why it is said that brahma kadigina padamu brahma mutananu padamu brahma kadigina padamu in this way then all these demons they are saying oh this boy vamana is vishnu he cheated us let us kill him then they are going to attack him but all vishnu's associates nanda sunanda jaya vijaya prabala bala kumuda kumudaksha vishwakshena garuda jayanta shruta deva pushpanda satvata all got 10000 elephant power they were just killing all these demons like anything then um, balimara said please don't go please don't do this he they are all associates of lord vishnu we cannot fight with them now time is not ours please come back oh viprachiti oh rahu oh nemi then all the nemi gods came back then where to put the third feet all they are running away to patal loka then garuda bound bali maharaj with va- varuna rope varuna snake rope and they brought before vamana and vamana was saying hey bali maharaj you said that you will give me three steps of land with one step i occupied this whole all the worlds and another step outer space and where can i put my third step you are unable to give the three steps of land so you are ready to go to hell then bali maharaj said my lord i am not afraid of hell i am only afraid of not fulfilling my word so please keep your third feet on my head i will be very happy then lord smiled lord already became a small boy now that small boy lord four year old boy he put his lotus feet cooling soothing smooth cool lotus feet on balimara's head and balimara was blessed and lord told i am very pleased with your intelligence and devotion you surrendered yourself to me so you will go to sutala loka it's it's more than it's more opulent than swarga loka more opulent than heaven and you will be enjoying there there are more opulences and enjoyments in sutala loka than heavenly planets this is what lord told and i will be your security guard this is what lord told he became security guard because just because his devotee surrendered to himself to lord then you can learn from this that if you surrendered yourself to lord what lord not do for you he will do everything for you he will love you he will bless you he will be always with you this is the wonderful past time excellent past time of vamana dev appearance jai jagannath hari krishna